Hello friends, guess what we're going to be doing today? Uh, some of you might know that I'm getting ready for a tea party. So I'm going to show you here how to set up a tea table. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the entire thing with a neutral, kind of a, a very light pink table cover. And actually I think this is a bed cover. I got it in an antique show years ago, but I love it. It's very sheer, it's got lace on both sides, and kind of a cream colored ruffle around the edges. And the more lace for tea, the better. Next, I'm, I've chosen this, it's kind of an oblong cream colored lace table cover. And it's not as delicate as some of the other table covers that I have, but I love the color. It went with what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this table cover. It's like a, I'm not even sure what kind of fabric, kind of a Victorian looking fabric. Lots of pink, lots of roses. I love it. I have this peachy pink napkin and I'm just gonna put it right in the center, but I am gonna put it on a diagonal like that. So I have this lace overlay that actually has little teapots and teacups on it. So I'm gonna put that right in the center. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring over all my dishes that I need and set them up. So every tea table is different and if you're doing something like this at a church, they have specific requirements of what they would like to see on your table. So normally I would have a dinner plate and a salad plate and then the tea. She's doing something different with the dessert, so all I need is a dinner plate. Because there's a pattern on this, I'm placing the big rows on the outside of each, on each side. That way everything's uniform and it just has a, a cohesive look to it. So this is a different pattern because I can have six of the other plates. So these have little roses on it and I'm gonna use those right in the center. We have a couple of these. These are actually made for a teacup to sit right in there. But what I'm gonna use them for is for my teapot to rest on. Oftentimes when you're actually having tea, it's going to be dripping. It may uh, be a little bit messy. So it's it's nice to have something underneath it. And I want to make sure both of the plates underneath are, uh, underneath are facing the same direction. And I'm actually putting them on the far outer corners. I have three centerpieces. So you guys remember these in my last, one of my last DIY videos, I antiqued them and added just a little bit of greenery and baby's breath and I'm going to use them on the outer corner. And I've also added this candle holder inside this bird cage, this what I have in the center. Okay, I like to have a water pitcher on the table. So I'm just gonna sit it right here and add my water glass, which I am using a pretty little crystal stemware for my water glass. So next I have all of my teacups and although they all have the same design, they're all just a little bit different. And I really debated on whether I wanted them all to match or I could do something eclectic and just stick with a similar color. And I love doing that, it's beautiful. But I chose to use all of the similar, similar ones and both teapots actually match. And they're just a beautiful classic rose. I'm gonna set each one to the right of the plate. And also, of course, I can't forget my cream and sugar, which actually match. And my cute little sugar tongs. And I'm just gonna hang that on the edge of the handle there. 
then I'm going to go ahead and put a plate, a tea plate on the right side of each, each plate. Then I'm going to add the cups. And I want to make sure that the handle is facing the right on each one. So at this point, I'm going to add my silverware, which I have pre-wrapped in the napkin. Kind of a, a dusty rose colored napkin. And I've added my shabby chic. napkin ring to that. I'm going to set them on the left side of each plate. So at this point all I have left to do is to add my tea party favors and I'm just going to set them right in the center of each plate. There we have it. So my tea table is set and ready to go. So thank you for joining me today in this video on how to set a tea table. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So until I see you again, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.